Hey, hi, welcome back to our Cisco SD1 course. In this video, we'll dig deep into how authentication happens between each of the control components for forming the DTLS tunnels. Let's keep going. Just a moment. The playlist for this complete Cisco SD1 course is available in the description box below and also here in the cards. To encourage me, please do like, share and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell icon so my effort will reach you on time. First, let's start talking about how the vManage and vBond authenticates between them. Always remember that the authentication will happen bidirectionally, meaning in this case, vBond will authenticate vManage and in the other direction, vManage will also authenticate the vBond. Only then a DTLS tunnel will be formed. The same is true for any other controllers coming up in the network, also between a vanage router and a controller as well. In this video, just for your better understanding, I have shown the authentication process one direction at a time, but in reality, both direction authentication will happen in parallel. Okay, let's start with vBond authenticating vManage. First, the vManage sends its signed certificate to the vBond. vBond will verify the organization name and followed by that, he will also validate the signed certificate. Once this is successful, one way of authentication is done. Then the next step happens where the vManage authenticates the vBond. vBond sends the trusted root CA signed certificate. vManage will verify the organization name and also vManage will check the signed certificate itself. When this is successful as well, that means bidirectionally the authentication is successful. That means we are good to form a permanent DTLS tunnel. So always remember the authentication happens in both directions. Only when both directions are successful, the DTLS tunnels get formed. Even in one direction, if any of the things gets failed, that means the DTLS tunnel will not be formed. Let's see how a vSmart and a vBond authenticates between them. Let's start with vBond authenticating vSmart. The trusted signed certificate is sent by the vSmart to the vBond. vBond verifies the serial number and he will verify the organization name followed by he will check the signed certificate as well. vBond will get the serial number of the vSmart from the vManage. Moving on, let's see how vSmart authenticates vBond. vBond sends its signed certificate and also if you note here as an additional step, vBond sends the vanage serial file list which contains what are the valid edge routers which can be onboarded onto the network. And then vSmart will check the organization name and then the signed certificate as well. When authentication is successful in both directions, that means a DTLS tunnel will be formed between the vSmart and vBond. Let's talk about vSmart and vManage. How do they authenticate between them? More or less, the authentication process between the controllers will be very similar. Let's start off with vSmart authenticating the vManage. vManage sends his signed certificate. vSmart checks the organization name and then he will validate the signed certificate itself. Next, vManage authenticating vSmart. vSmart sends the signed certificate. vManage checks the serial number, org name, and the certificate itself. Once both side authentication is successful, that means we are going to form a DTLS tunnel. Next, let's see how authentication happens between two vSmarts. Just in case you have a design where you have a two vSmart for redundancy, that means they are going to authenticate between themselves to form a control plane tunnel. First, let's start with vSmart2 authenticating vSmart1. vSmart1 is going to send a signed certificate. vSmart2 will check the serial number, org name, and also the signed certificate itself. Next, vSmart2 will send the signed certificate. vSmart1 will check the serial number, org name, and then the signed certificate validity. Now, when bidirectional authentication is successful, that means a DTLS tunnel will be formed between them. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it was informative. Do comment below for any queries or suggestions. The playlist for this complete Cisco SD1 course is available in the description box below and also here in the cards. If you want to encourage me, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you think some of your friends or colleagues will find my content or channel useful, do share and also do not forget to hit the notification bell icon.